Good morning, Coda. Good morning, Kenai. Brothers, inseparable. Good morning. It is another uh, beautiful day here in Washington State. Sorry I didn't end the video yesterday. Um, just kind of chilled out, had a chill night, played some video games, and um, yeah, slept. I actually slept like crap, to be honest. Kept tossing and turning and having some really crazy dreams. But uh, yeah, today is another open day. Not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, Aaron and I are here watching the girls. Mike is at work, so. Uh, oh, so I figured this morning, since we have nothing else going on, we can do an RC update video on my um, WPL FJ rock crawler. Oh, uh, some things have happened. Some things have happened. Let's get into it. All right, guys, time for a little RC update. It's not a good one. Uh, the RC is currently not running. I had it running for about a week after I got back from Eastern Washington last time. Got everything hooked up and, um, yeah, like I said, ran it for about a week. Never got a run video on it like an idiot. And now it's broken. So what was happening was the connections that we had made to the ESC weren't 100% permanent. Um, and one of the leads, one of the connections started to come loose after a while of, you know, the RC bouncing around and stuff like that. And it was the power lead. So I decided that I wanted to fix the connection, disconnect all my connections, disconnected all my connections to the ESC, and um, did what I needed to do. And when I was putting it back together, I installed the power um, backwards. Uh, I reversed the polarity on accident. So as soon as I hooked the battery up, um, the ESC sparked. <laughs> And then everything shut off, except the steering. Um, no power to the motor. The motor still works. I tested that independently afterwards, but it's just, yeah. That part of the ESC is fried. Bummer. I gotta order a new ESC when I get back to Western Washington. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what she's looking like now. I mean, you guys have seen her. Right now, the rims and tires that are on here are off Mike's new crawler. He just wanted to see how the fitment is, and I have to say it looks great. But you look under here, where the ESC should be, and there is none. Just the steering servo and my leads. Here's the ESC. That right there, that little part. See how there's two? One, two, and this one has a little mark on it. That's what burnt out. So... Yeah, lesson learned, I mean, God, yeah, I just should have paid more attention, that's what it comes down to. Alright, I think that's going to do it for the little RC update, um, like I said, when I get back to my side of the mountains, I'm going to um, order a new ESC and controller and all that, so I'll be getting that running, and yeah. This thing is badass, though, I can tell you that much. Even though I didn't get it on film running, um, it ran really good. It eats up obstacles like it's nothing. And having a two-speed gearbox is a game-changer. Um, you kick it into that low gear when you're trying to um, get over an obstacle, and it just eats it up. So, unfortunate that she's down, especially for this trip, because Mike has a, a nice track in the backyard, and, um, yeah... But I'm not the only one with an RC down. Uh, Mike's buggy, you might recognize it, even with the body off, is broken right now. This right there, there's two of them obviously. This one snapped, you can see. Just after he got done repairing the suspension, so big bummer on that. But he's got metal parts ordered now to replace these plastic ones, so that's always um, that's always good. Well, I think I'm gonna head back inside, get something to eat, get some more coffee in me, and decide what I'm going to do um, with the rest of the day. So.
come along with. All right, guys, I am going to head out for a quick cruise around the area. Um, maybe go get a cup of coffee, bite to eat. We'll see. Hey guys, just got back from a uh, little drive, picked up some Taco Bell, and um, yeah, just hanging out here in the shop, trying to, yeah, just hanging out here in the shop, thought I'd update you guys on uh, what's going on today, Mike should be home for lunch soon, so um, going to try to make a little game plan as to uh, what we're going to do this coming um, weekend being his days off Wednesday, Thursday, I think. So, I think we're going to run up to, like, Lenore Caves with the girls and, and everybody and uh, maybe go up to Banks Lake and go around that area. It's really pretty up there. So, looking forward to that. That would be some cool footage, and I will be bringing y'all along with me, of course. Um, just looked at the stocking reports, um, the WDFW trout stocking reports and uh, actually I was talking back and forth with Jake Bainbridge Bass Fishing uh, a few minutes ago and um, they have been stocking the piss out of the west side um, especially Mason County so that's a, that's where a lot of our lakes are that's kind of our stomping grounds is Mason County and uh, we're really excited to get out and get after them when the lakes uh, these certain lakes open back up here in a couple weeks. Thank goodness. I, I cannot wait for my first bass of the year. Um, the spawn is right around the corner. Things are heating up. So, yeah. Not really going to get to do much fishing this trip, as you probably have been able to tell. Um, I brought the Mustang out, and that thing doesn't leave the pavement. That's just a general rule. So most of the lakes that I fish around here normally are down dirt roads, so that's a no-go. Um, that's alright though, it's forcing me to get creative with my content. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It's forcing me to get creative, more creative uh, with my content. Um, because I can't just strap a GoPro on my chest and go fish for six or seven hours. So... We tried to go down and do some fishing at a place called Connolly Park, which is literally 15 minutes from Mike's house, uh, but that park doesn't open until April 15th. Is that right? Yeah. The day I leave, so that's kind of a bummer. That's where we took the girls down last year, last summer, when I came out and caught their first fish, smallmouth, little smallmouth bass. It was fun. So... Uh, it's a lot less windy today. Yesterday the winds were absolutely ripping and howling, and today it is nice and peaceful and calm out. Probably about 62 degrees if I had to wager a guess. Okie okay, dokie, okay, I'm going to finish up this lunch, uh, and I will get back to you guys then. Alright y'all, a little update on life. Uh, Mike is home for the day, so that's awesome. I am out here uh, in the shop taking some photos. Messing around with my camera. Um, it's got a remote. Yeah. Really handy when I'm doing still shots um, and shots of myself. So that's pretty damn cool. <sighs> Mike's home. I'm home. For the day? Yeah. I'm sick of work. <coughs> <clears throat> yeah. So we're hanging out. Uh, we're taking the girls to their mom's in a little bit, probably two or three hours. Unfortunately, <laughs> no, that'll be fun. Then we do some uh, shenanigans later. Yeah, we're thinking Freeze about evening. thinking about doing some evening fishing. Not that we'll catch anything, but hey, we can get a line wet. 
<laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, the, the, the people that are fishing out behind Walmart must be onto something if there's people out there like that. Uh, yeah, must. I don't know. I wonder what the fuck they're catching. Walleye. Yeah? I think so. Bleep that out. We've been really good so far. Trying. Like unconsciously or subconsciously, I should say. Unconsciously. Uh, as soon as there's a camera on, I try to not. Yeah, I think I let a shit bleep that <laughs> go in a couple videos ago, but other than that, I've been really good. <laughs> Let's just keep my editing skills sharp, oh. I guess. God mm. damn, how do people hold full-size cameras out like that all day? Bigger than that. Yeah, bigger than that, with the microphone and everything like that. And they're just like, yeah, yeah, I'm vlogging, I'm here. My arm's getting tired. You can do some weightlifting, dude. I need to get in shape, both of us. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. I haven't lifted a weight in a long time, man. Longer than I care to admit. But it was, I used to enjoy weightlifting, and especially rock climbing, dude. Well, that's what I'm saying out here, too. Get the tree trunks back from some mountain biking. Mm hmm. I used to have that stamina. I used to impress myself being a 250 pound guy that could just. Truck up hills? Mm hmm. Yeah. He never stops. There's a little, there's a little, have I been? Hopefully I've kept you in frame this whole time. There's a little video floating around on my hard drive of a certain camping trip that will never see the light of day on YouTube. But uh, trust me, it's, it's a good one. A lot of mountain biking and um, yeah. You have to be in the loop to be able to set eyes on that one. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll update you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, we are back. We are on an external mic right now. So, the wind noise should sound a little better. There we go. Proper vlogging setup. I wanna say hi. You wanna see the difference? Hi. This is probably why she's misfiring a little bit. Do it. That versus that. So. Natalie. Ah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Right? <laughs> Ooh. You want to be smart. Let's get that off the lens. And. I don't know where it's at. What are you looking for? Anaces. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. I've never had a problem, so, you know, I'm not really worried about it, but... Is she, uh, she <laughs> Thank you. inside the uh, Del Sol these days. Whoa, is in here? What's going on, dude? What are you doing, bro? You're not supposed to be in here, Yogi. You want to go open the other door? Yeah. Yogi Bear. This dog is massive. So Mike has heavily modified this car. Steering wheel pops off. I'm not gonna do it right now, but uh, trust me on that. 
Hey, Yogi Bear. She's pretty bare bones. I remember when this thing was uh, brand new to Mike. She still got the soul. Still got the soul. Such a nice car. The shifter is so tight too. Five-speed manual, as it should be.
beautiful. Much better than before, huh? Yeah, dude. Oh, amazing. Smooth. Right. Rough on the slow end, but real smooth once she's up and running. All right, so Mike and I are out here prepping tackle. I don't know what to bring, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw whatever I can find in here. True. Or trout magnets, definitely. Yeah. Some yeah, magnets. you got enough of those last year lifetime. They go quick though; they're kind of shitty. I, and you, you know what? They work though. That's kind of what I got set up: trout magnet on a little. Should I bring spinners? Yeah. Spinners are good for everything. Man, I just about ripped off the whole shelf of the gold on gold Pantomartin quarters. <laughs> I just about did. I was like, probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but they would go. They would get used. I forget what's in my stuff. Some of the good stuff. <laughs> That's where we're headed, folks. Sea Flakes. Hey, you can still see me. For, we, now. for now, we've made about a 35 minute drive south um, down here to Sea Flakes, and we're going to see if we can catch a fish. At 8 o'clock at night? At 8 o'clock at night. It smells like shit out here, by the way. <laughs> like literal doo doo. <laughs>